Hello everybody, welcome to Money Mondays. This one's going to be a uh, video is going about looking at some charts and looking at these uh, rebound from what just happened from last week to uh, this week till today, okay? So let's check it out. I mean, uh, while you guys get on, drop a comment saying hi, and we'll be on this live stream for a little bit looking at these charts, okay? Cool. Now give me one second while I send this out to everybody else. Do, 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 do. Give me a second. That's almost done. So, guys, what we're going to be on investing.com. Make sure you guys open up the charts for um, for uh, S&P 500, the Dow. And we're going to be looking at some uh, commodities like crude oil. All right, some gold. And another chart on our last one is going to be a uh, XRP, one of my favorites, and Bitcoin. And our last one. We're going to be going over Forex Factory, okay? Okay, so let's see how we're going to do with this. Give me one second while I send this stream out to myself. Just give me one second, everybody. Yeah, and if you guys have any questions or comments so far, uh, about what we're gonna be looking at just drop them below we're gonna be looking at that bounce up from this huge move massive move down that's from uh, the US 30 okay uh, not from just US 30 but from all indexes okay I'll get my link all right Yeah, drop a comment if you guys see it on there. All right, we'll begin. Let me just turn out this uh, link to one other area, and then we will be good to go, okay? All right. Do, 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 do. Just make sure you guys uh, are, are, have some notes and stuff. If you guys have any questions, we will be uh, going over some key details, especially about this bounce. Because remember, the Fed Reserve is going to be pumping this as much as they can. All right. That's the key. All right, guys. So we'll jump into the first chart. So our first one, we're going to look at the S&P 500 and look at it exactly what's been happening. Remember, all the indexes have been really beat down. Very, very beat down. Now, you guys can look at the same charts in um, MetaTrader or any other uh, NT5. You can look at them. But here, I'm on investing.com. A whole lot easier for me to go through because I can do a little bit more stuff when it comes to the arrows and things like that. All right. So let's go to the hourly. We're on the hour. So we can tell since that open on Monday, look at this massive move up. It went from 2,900 up to 3,073 for the S&P 500. Look at the Dow. Check how much the pips, how, how big it went up there. Let's check it out. Let me see if he's yeah. all right let's check it out right here the Dow's having a big bump up so hopefully if you guys the stocks got hit maybe they're uh, doing a rebound and you might want to you know reanalyze if you want to stay in those stocks if the market starts to crash you know this may be a good time to exit if you're back to you know neutral or back to pro profit all right let's get this loaded Pretty interesting, everything went down just about and just bounced everyone up. Is there manipulation? <laughs> All right, look at that like massive, massive move up. All right, we might, I mean, this kind of move, this kind of buying power, I don't know, I mean, maybe coming from the Fed. 
But look at this right there. Like if it caps that catches back up, we might be on that positive trend even higher. Maybe it was just a small correction. But I mean, overall, I think the markets will be crashing. But for the time being, maybe for 2020, we're going to be either flat or above or going up. Maybe 2021, we see that massive crash right after the election. And a good possibility of that happening. All right, give me one second, guys. I got a text message about this. Uh, they want the link. All right. All right give me one second, guys. Switch. All right, and and the amount of pips, like it's absolutely insane how many pips this this was moving. Like I didn't trade that. I didn't trade it this time. We were trading oil, and uh, we didn't get this catch it. But we were going oil chart in a second. So let's check out gold. See what happened to that. See any really big movements? Let's kick. Let's go to the technical charts. All right, let's go. All right, give me one second. I got another guy asking for the links. And we're going to be going over, uh, yeah, gold. Let me expand gold's chart a little bit, okay? All right, so gold on the hourly. Check the hourly. That yeah, happened a couple hours ago. So yeah, even on the hourly, gold had a massive, had a pretty big movement up. It went up about nine dollars. So for forex traders, it's some big. That's a big move for us. But for people who are like in precious metals, nine bucks, eh, not too bad. Check the silver market. Let's go. Almost back to seventeen. Whoop, whoop. Hopefully. Uh, even my ETNs and ETFs that I'm in involved with silver went down too, and they got a little, a little correction up, a little bounce back up. I mean, and that, that was nice. I love having a, a silver because I've been I'm heavy, I'm more heavy on silver than anything else. Well, silver in the last hour has been doing what now? Yeah, same move, big move. So thirty cents up, nine dollar thirty cents up, pretty good for that. XRP. So let's go back to uh, where's oil. Ooh, I forgot to open up oil's chart. Give me one second. All right, bring it over here. All right, let this load. Now, guys, you guys don't know, uh, I trade oil quite often. It's one of my favorite things to trade. It's literally... It's like it's not it's easier to portray for me because it's I memorize it so much while looking at the patterns, looking at the charts for it. It's always it's very typically the, the same thing. All right. But remember, guys, if you have any questions, comments, concerns so far about the charts I'm looking at, please drop them below. All right. So oil had a huge move coming out of the UK US session. Uh, crossover and then went to the US kill zone and it just went up to the moon. Really good trade. So we're going to go to the hourly. Give me a second. A little, little bit slow. Do, 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 do. All right, where are we at? We are going to go to the hourly. Man, it's going really slow. Every time I go stream live, it tends to go a little bit slower, like it's lagged a little bit. So if you guys got any lag or hear my audio's off, just tell me in the ch uh, comments below, okay? Ooh. Okay, moving really, really slow.
Oh wow, like I'm it's barely moving on my part. Give me one second. I'm gonna uh, reload like some chrome. Uh, for my chrome to see why it's going so slow. It feels like my internet just stopped. Uh, I'm still streaming. Okay. Uh, just Chrome. All right. Let me exit Chrome and reload it because it seems like it's crashing right now. It's not loading. I'm not getting any response. Yeah, it seems like a crash, like an internal crash. All right, guys. Let me bring up the charts again and uh, we will check this out in a second. All right, cool. It's back to uh, maybe it just crashed. I don't know. It's kind of weird. This is moving really slow, but now it's moving much faster again. So let's go back to the oil charts and check that out. Hey, Silver Fox Investments, how you doing, man? What's up guys how you guys doing uh sorry about the uh delay about that it's kind of messed up uh the the, the um, thing crashed right here because it, it's giving me no response so let's open up oil again okay oh that's loud all right guys yeah, drop a comment got any questions on what i'm looking at okay this is Monday. Uh, this is Money Mondays, where I go over uh, key points about some things in the markets or some investments to look at. Okay. All right. All right. Now it's way faster. I don't know what happened, but so here's last night's. Uh, uh, here's last night when we got on right here. Or actually, not last night. This morning, my bad. Where's this morning? It was kicked to the hourly. No, 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 no. No, no, right about here. So we got this all the way up. Uh, we got stopped out on our position because of the uh, the movement back down, which is fine. Happens in trading. But you can see that oil had a really big move up out of this whole trending down. So like since, remember the move up from October to December, it was a positive move up. It was really, really bullish, right, from October to December 2019. Let's look at that on the daily, okay? So October, December 2019, but look at this immediate, this down pour, just down, down, and down. And now we do a little bounce. This right here, if you go back to the monthly, this is a monthly support. Now, you know my thing about monthly, my thing about support resistance, I'm not a fan of it at all. But we're looking at, this is a whole bunch of massive buying. Now, it's, it's interesting. Remember that all, I believe almost all stocks is powered through crude oil. Crude oil touches almost every single market. So crude oil goes up, stocks are going to go up too. But let's get into this thing about what I was talking about, about uh, how uh, the index is going to be going up. So guys, go to Forex Factory. And remember, this coming up Friday, I think that the banks are going to utilize that this uh, first Friday. So we got unemployment change, we got the CAD, but we'll just go back to dollar. We got average earnings, we got the non-farm payroll, and we got unemployment rate. These are going to be massive movements for the dollar. And since we're looking at most markets are, you know, fueled by the dollar, it's one of the most manipulated currencies, uh, the most, we can see maybe that they'll use that Friday or this week to ramp up this buying movement. So we might see a massive movement, a recovery from the U.S. 30, uh, from, uh, from the Dow or other indexes. And this might take away from gold and silver for that uh, point being for this week. Not saying gold and silver are going to go massively down, but all that money might be funneled into the easiest route to make their money back. Because, you know, some of the stock traders are pretty uh, panicky because they lost some of their investments. But remember, uh, guys, that a lot of these traders are, all, are all, all on margin. So this massive movement down did a whole bunch of margin calls. So either these guys are being re-entered or re-entering in, or 
They're gonna be uh Nah, I'm gonna take a slow step. <laughs> All right, let me see. Get this going right here. It's buffering. You guys see me? I'm just buffering. Yeah, give me a second. Uh, so, what do you see right now? Is uh, you guys see my charts at all? Nah, maybe we have some technical errors. Give me a second, guys. I'm gonna check my own live stream. Um, seems like it's working. Hey, Silver Fox and uh, Silver Fox Investments, how you guys doing, Mister Shizu Shizo? Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, Joe, I'm actually on my on my uh, other account just to monitor it and look at it. It's running pretty good. Um, is it just not buffering on your side? Hey, do you see it? Is it running normal for your uh, uh, YouTube link? Is it bu is it buffering? All right, let's go to uh, let's open up the US thirty. If you guys got me live, or if not, just drop a comment telling me if it's I'm not live or not. Okay. All right, give me a second. Just let me know so we're not uh, my, we're streaming a video that no one else can see, okay? All right, open it up. All right, guys, we're going to go to candlesticks. Let's go to the daily. All right, so look at that massive move up. Like this is an insane move. We're talking about over a thousand pips up, a thousand. Easy trade last night. So if you guys caught this, I definitely did not catch this trade. I was looking, I was uh, looking at oil. This was way too fast. So let's kick it to a lower time frame to see what was happening. So here's this little, uh, you can say consolidation movement, Doji, a really bad one. That's not good because it's just spoke right up. Like even through this, like it filled that gap. It filled these gaps. Like it, it seems like at this current pace, filling this gap in the next day or two might be a uh, easy possibility. So for the for the traders who are going long, like for either FX or in your stocks, either your stocks are going to get filled back from that gap down, or you get you can catch that same move in forex and make a different type of gain. I mean, if you're talking about a, uh, if you're talking about like lot size, like 0 0.01 lots, you're talking about a hundred dollars extra in your account from this move up. So if you're talking about like anything more, obviously you just multiply the, the the numbers out. But your stocks might go back to break even or higher, depending on the buying volume, the buying pressure. Okay. So that's a good thing. I mean, for people who are bullish in the markets, I don't care where the markets go, up or down. I'll make money trading it. Same thing for crude oil. So crude oil is doing it like it's my favorite chart, like my favorite thing to trade. All right, let's go to a little bit of thing uh, weekly, and we don't need to go through like support analysis or technical analysis. That so it's not truly necessary in trading. You don't really need to do all that. But for here, like if we look, if we, if we have to repeat that same mode, like it, it's kind of interesting. If you had to cut, if you had to do a box, let's do a box right here, just to show you like repeating of the same charts. All right, see this blue box here? Like, if we cut this blue box straight in half. Oh, not horizontal line, my bad. We need a vertical line. Right here in the middle. Like, you look at this chart. Aren't they identical? Back and forth? Massive movements up? So, remember, it's, it's this is... 
in trading, you don't have to make things complicated. If this chart is basically duplicating itself on back, you might be able to duplicate the same results. This might actually prove out to be the same monthly or weekly move, weekly move up, and it might uh, trend up. Because remember, the Fed cannot allow the stock market to go down. If they go down, that's a lot of revenue they're going to be missing. And if, uh, and if they are going to be missing it, in a sense, they're going to have to be shorting the markets. But for me, in my opinion, I believe that we're going to have about two to three rate cuts from the Fed this year. They're going to use all that extra cash they, they were going to be paying to their uh, investors, right? Because remember, uh, the higher the interest rate, the more we're going to be paying back to our, our owners of debt. But for us, that's going to be, it's going to be worse. Because if they're going to cut rates, our savings accounts are going to get less yields. We're going to be getting less money for our money. But these banks are going to use this movement just to recapitalize on oil. Oil goes back up. Markets go back up. And this might be a trend up, but actually bad for the economy. Because if we go back to lower rates, like 1%, 2%, uh, sorry, 1%, half a percent, even negatives, the U.S. economy, the crash is going to be even worse for us. So... If you watch my other videos, how to capitalize off the crash, please check that out. It's, there's other videos that's gonna uh, I go into how to capitalize off this trash, uh, off this crash. Okay, well, I'll give you that on my YouTube channel right here. Look at this video right here. All right, give me a second. Oh, I'm logged into my other account. Give me one second. All right, go to my YouTube channel. Oh, dang it, wrong one. Go to uh, my channel. I'll go through the video for you, okay? It's Monday. It's Money Mondays, so let's go through here. If you look at through here, I believe it's uh, where's it at? So best time to invest in oil if you want to. That was last year. I was telling you guys about that big movement from October to December. That was super easy to hit, but that's over now. All right, where's that? How to store gold and silver. Where's that recession video? Minimum wage. Ah, the recession is coming. So check that out. Uh, I did it six months ago. Uh, I think the same things still apply. Too much debt. Too much. Uh, not uh, too much bad policy. Bad governments. Bad leadership. Despite which side you're on, you're a Democrat, you're a Libertarian. What it doesn't matter to me. You know, long as follow the Constitution. But. When it comes to this right here, it's just that we're not in the same position. We're in a worse position, but the same factors still apply. All right. We're going to be using a whole bunch of fake money to prop up these markets, and this fake money is going to, it's going to have to end sometime. So we look at this at the monthly. You know, it might go up from here, but I'm calling Dow 6,000, and I'm shorting it not in spot forex. I'm shorting in the ETS markets because it's a whole lot easier for me to manage. Now, if you guys want to learn how to short the markets without margin, just DM me directly or just drop a comment below because I can show you how to short the markets without margin because margin calls are absolutely horrendous. You don't want to be in that position because we don't know that the markets might hit th Dow 30,000. That might be a possibility. If Dow 30,000 hits, you guys don't want to be going short on Dow 30,000 on a margin account. That can eat you guys alive. And you know what? That's kind of problem. I, I I hit in the ETS markets because one, I don't get margin called, and two, it's easier for me to manage because I can just keep dialing in my entry and not worry about getting massacred by everything else. All right, what's, what else we got? We got that right here. We got oil. Oil should be making the next few moves up. So take that on board. That's what I'm gonna be going for. I'm gonna be looking at what past so on our live session i will be going over more in detail for the clients that i uh, uh for my clients about what we're gonna be looking at long term so we'll be doing it and we'll be doing an intraday trade and then we'll be doing uh, a long-term trade to build up on that in the next session so please check that out if you're looking at being a client go to andrejimclinton.com check it out all right let me see what else we got the news so if you guys didn't catch the beginning catch it. I'm going to repeat this right now. We have first Friday. First Friday is a massive thing for us traders, right? So if you're in the dollar, this is for you. We're going to have average earning uh, wage. So it, you have average earning non-farm employment change and unemployment rate. It does not matter for these statistics. 
I've seen it be negative and the market ramp up positive. I've seen it been positive and, ra and the market ramp up negative. The banks are going to take both sides of whatever market they do and take your money. Be aware of that. So I've already if you make it have a large stop or have a pending order just to enter in the trade so you're not getting wiped out. But I believe that they're going to use this Friday or from today till Friday to recover or make a massive attempt at it by inflating the markets with more Fed money. So we're going to be looking at that right now. Look at the Fed money. How much is the Fed spending, okay? So we're going to microtrends.com. We're going to look at some, some government statistics, okay? We're going to look at interest rates, and we're going to look at economy, okay? Have those two open. We're going to be looking at funds, the federal funds rate. Oh, where is it at? Federal funds rate and economic indicators. Oh, that's another one. We're going to look at debt by national, by, uh, by debt by president. Do, 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 do. Uh, unemployment rate, that's a good one for us to look at. Debt to GDP, something to look at. All right, where's that? Uh, auto sales, no, 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 no. Industrial production, don't care. Don't, don't. We need to look at precious metals in the charts. All right, cool. So first thing, we're going to look at national debt by president. Who's been effing up the? Who's been basically effing up our, our system even more? I would say all of them. All of them have been doing horrible, horrible amounts of problems to our economy by basically not following a, a simple thing as a budget. So let's check this out. We got Donald Trump when he started office. He got the budget up over fourteen and a half percent. Now let's compare that to uh, President Barack Obama. Look how large he made the debt. Now understand. During that last crash, um, during our last crash in 2007 to the bottom of 2009, what, what did we have? We have quantitative easing. Quantitative easing pumped in a whole bunch of fake money, and we're going to look at that in the other charts. But we're going to come back to the president's one. Uh, we're on unemployment, just the GDP, federal funds rate. All right. Versus gold. Now, look, if you start looking at the price of, uh, so our blue is a federal funds rate. And look at this. Uh, look at the balance sheet of the Fed prior to 2008 crash. Look at that. Massive amounts of their balances. That means the uh, the Federal Reserve is accumulating assets using fake money by pumping it into the markets. And gold, all gold is is uh, absorbing all that inflation, sucking it up, and increasing its price. See how this went flat? Same thing did gold, and it's slowly catching up. So I've been buying gold for years. I advocate every single person to be buying gold and precious metals because we have four types of crashes uh, that's possible that's going to be coming up in this recession. Deflation, inflation, hyperinflation, stagflation. Those ways, I believe that gold and silver and other certain precious metals will exceed your, your will increase your purchasing power or maintain it during that recession. But owning it in stocks might not even benefit you at all. Or even real estate. I went through a real estate uh, thing with the, uh, one of my clients about, uh, you know, what, what market are we looking at? We're in a dangerous position right now. Okay? So let's go back to the presidents. We're looking at uh, George W. Bush. Look at President Clinton. W. Sr., Ronald Reagan, Jimmy Carter, Ford, Nixon. All of them has just been wrapping up the budget. We, it is, it's, we're just not doing the debt. Our debt is just too much. And this is going to be a debt crisis. Hopefully, we don't have a credit crisis where they, oh, we don't have a credit freeze. That would be even worse. All right. Next thing would be this. We're going to look at. We're going to be looking at uh, gold to oil ratio, no, gold to Dow. Where's the no Dow to gold? So, here's something here. So, I'm not telling you guys what to do with your money. I'm just in letting you know that we're in a position that is not in a very safe one. So, all these uh, gray bars are crashes. Or so. We, every, the market's crash every seven to nine years. Right now, we're in the longest economic time that we don't have a crash yet. And the Dow ratio, so that means it takes how many ounces of gold currently at its price to get one share of the Dow, we have to divide it. It's 15 ounces of gold, 15.65 ounces of gold, to get one share of the Dow, we have to break it down share by share like that. But we're missing something that's coming up. If we have a massive recession like this, like we did in 2008, and we head down to lower lows, 
being in precious metals might be the same thing, might save your grace and keep maintain your purchasing power. And if you're in actually a different currency outside the dollar, all precious metals are at all time highs, just about, except for the dollar, because the dollar is being uh, manipulated by the Fed and by the central banks. All right, let's go with the next thing. But if you guys got any questions so far, please drop a comment below. Tell me what you guys think and you guys' thoughts about this right here. Uh, give me one second. Uh, I'm going to open this up right here and edit my video a little bit. All right, so look at it. We're, we're looking at a massive printing amount. And we might be going to Dow 30,000 or Dow higher. So, well, be aware of that. The banks want the market on. I don't fart the markets. I go, the trend is your friend. Take advantage of the trend and take advantage of these markets. I think oil will probably be, oil to me is an easier trade because I understand oil a whole lot more than US 30. US 30, I like to scalp more than go long. US, uh, oil was a whole lot easier for me to take advantage of because there's no, there's no fees, there's no daily fees eating up your account. All right, give me a second. All right. But uh, that's about it, guys. I want to go over that little bit of information with you guys to, and uh, help you out about what's happening in this economy, how that affects your guys' trading, what are we going to be doing on the live sessions. You want to get on our live sessions, hit me up on Facebook. It's Andre J. McClendon. Doc, uh, Andre J. McClendon on, um, on Instagram, Facebook, all social media is AJ, Andre J. McClendon. Or go to my website, book a meeting, and we can talk. All right, but that's the video, guys. Thank you guys for making it to the end. I'll see you guys in the li next live stream on next Monday. I'll end up be posting every other day or just about. But uh, thank you, guys. I'll see you guys on the next video. See ya.